Hull City know the importance of keeping an eye on him. Strike from distance, which goes all the way through. Hull City caught napping from the corner. And Saeed Ben Rama with the strike and with an emotional tribute. Yeah, he lost his father recently. Then we saw this was it last season with Anthony Knockhart. It's really heartbreaking for players when you lose members of your family. Clearly it is for Saeed Ben Rama. All he can do is go out on the pitch and do his dad justice by scoring great goals, and this is exactly what this is. But once he steps onto his right foot, you've got to get closer to him. There's one whole player closing him down. There's two others. I think Lehigh is one who can really throw himself in the way here. I think the problem for George Long is he doesn't see it until late, comes past Reese Burke, who seems to move out of the way. That's what Long is saying. But again, Ben Rama on his right foot, you know he's going to bend it towards that far corner and inevitably he scores. Jensen. Ball from Tafazoli. Jensen again, who has run the game for Brentford from the heart of midfield. He's found Umbuemo, Tafazzoli needs to time this, he can't get there. It's still Umbuemo, Ben Rama! 4-1 to Brentford. And Saeed Ben Rama shows his quality once again. He is without any question a Premier League player in waiting. Rama riding the challenge of Tafazzoli and from that moment Hull were in real trouble and it was dispatched with the economy of effort by Saeed Ben Rama and this could get very very ugly for Hull City just over an hour play they trail by four goals to one and Brentford are... They look ready to kick on for the next challenge. Lovely footwork from Jensen. Jensen continues. Valencia, Dervasoglu in support. It'll break to Dervasoglu, but it's Valencia blocked by Long. Ben Roma! And there is the hat-trick.